friends, it's Jessie here. Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. For today's video, I'm gonna be closing out my fourth paycheck in September. Um, so it's the whole process. We're gonna go through, we're gonna track all of my expenses. I'm gonna go ahead and check in and close out my paycheck budget once I've kind of figured out all of my spending. I'll use that information to close out my budget. If we have any money left over from that budget, we'll go ahead and stuff my mini savings challenges. But before I do all of that, I have a couple things I want to show you. Some happy mail that I received this week. Uh, the last little trickle of the orders that I placed this month kind of came in, so I wanna share some new savings challenges with you, and then we'll get right into the meat of this video. So I placed a few orders. Some of them you saw last week. The rest are here. Starting with my September membership from Beijing Girl Budgets. These are so cute. Look at this giraffe. Um, it says, all it takes is one smile to change your day. And then I've got this one here that is full of fall things, hay rides, harvest, autumn, apple cider, etc. Uh, this one saves 45 plus the amounts are between one and nine dollars and this one is just a mystery savings challenge so those are my september perks from beijing girl budgets super excited to have those and add those to my stack of challenges lying in wait next up i have the order that i placed with um owl save wisely on etsy um it will pop up her YouTube name here on the screen because I cannot remember it off the top of my head. Oh, never mind. It says it right here on the bottom of her challenge. It's the Almost Organized Owl here on YouTube. I've been seeing everybody do these challenges. This is Save 2025 in 2025, so I'm going to be tucking this away and not using it until the start of the new year, but it is some scratch-offs at the top and then just some... Um, boxes here on the bottom. Um, she did message me and tell me that her hot pink stickers that usually go here were out of stock so she just used rose gold ones instead which is fine. They're super pretty. I'm really excited about doing this challenge, working on it a little bit each week throughout the year of 2025. And she also sent me some freebies to go along with it. So some little stickers. These are so cute. This one says small steps every day. This one says hello with the little owl, adorable. And this one says fearfully and wonderfully made. So very excited about those. She sent this super cute little heart paper clip. This challenge, by the way, is on really nice thick cardstock. So I'm excited about punching that and getting it put into my binder. And then she also, as a little free gift, sent along the dashboards. So the dashboards in a couple of different sizes so I can pop these into my binders and keep track of the money so thank you so much for that really excited to um, add that challenge to my collection um, and that was her little mailer here There was also this little heart paper clip I'm not sure exactly who this came from I always open all this mail off camera and I'm not super organized about keeping track of which little freebies came with which but that was that one and then I also placed an order with uh, Dina budgets I think is her name I'm really bad oh budgeting by Dina us there you go it's a good thing everybody puts their information on here because my memory is like Swiss cheese um, you guys have probably seen this savings challenge going around oh my gosh look at how bright and shiny that is with my lights reflecting. <laughs> so sorry if I'm blinding you guys. Um, all of the beautiful holographic um, scratch off stickers. So this is essentially a little color maze. So you start out with a color and you scratch around it. The goal is to try to find the path that each color makes. If you, so you pay $2 to scratch. If you land on the wrong color, you pay $3. If you land on white, you pay $5 and um, 
you just kind of go all the way through until the finish and then when you get to the finish you pay ten dollars so this challenge has the potential to save me a lot of money look at how beautiful that is oh my gosh so excited about that okay so in addition to that i also got some freebies here there's this beautiful um cross paper clip there's a little iou and there is some prop money with a cute little sticker on it so very very cute let me go ahead and put this holographic sticker challenge away before i blind you guys forever okay so that was it for the happy mail now let's go ahead and get into what you came here for. We're gonna track all of my expenses for the week. I'm probably gonna have to shift my little setup around here. It looks really cute in the video, but um, I need some space to work here. So I'm gonna pull in my budget binder. We're gonna start tracking all of my expenses. We'll categorize everything, and then we'll get our budget closed out for the week. All right, here we are, friends. We have my expense tracker for the week. We have my paycheck budget, which we will check in with and close out a little bit later on in this video. I have a, an erasable pen here by Friction, and we're just gonna get started. So the week that we are tracking expenses for is September 17th through the 23rd. And I'm gonna fold this in half. I'm gonna zoom you guys in just a touch. Okay, so we are gonna start out with the 17th with my usual transfers. If you are not new to my channel, this is pretty familiar to you. I do this every week. When I get paid on Tuesday, the first thing I do is transfer money. So I transfer um, $750 into my next month's bills account. I'm a month ahead on my bills, so I just take a certain amount each week, namely 750, and I move it from one account to the other so that I am prepped and ready. When the new month rolls around, I have all the money I need to pay my bills for next month. So that I did as usual. Also on the 17th, I went to my bank and I pulled out some cash and that category is savings. I pull out $200 cash to put into my savings challenges, which you would have seen already. I already did all of that. Um, and that was it for the 17th. On the 18th, I did some spending, went to the pharmacy. There has been a lot of pharmacy trips for medicines we are heavy into um cold and flu season now with austin back in school all the germs come home it seems like my husband's been dealing with a ton of um headaches related to sinus and inner ear things so yeah i decided to take this out of our spending category sometimes i've been taking our pharmacy like medicines out of my medical sinking fund um, I used my medical sinking fund for quite a few other things this week, so I decided just to use my spending money to cover this transaction, and the amount was $8 with 56 cents. Okay. Also on the 18th, we hit up KFC for dinner, so the category there is eating out, and the amount that we spent was $63.54. Okay, then on the 19th, we were back at the pharmacy. You know, Sudafed, headache medicine, cold medicine, that sort of thing. Um, this also I took out of spending. And the amount here was 1503. Also on the 19th, I went and I did my grocery shopping. Um, the first of a couple different trips this week. So we went to Walmart. I always do my shopping at Walmart because it's the cheapest place to get groceries. Category, of course, is grocery. And the amount that was spent was $157.36. Okay, on the 19th also, we went to and grabbed drinks from a gas station. We were on the way to a game. I know you guys are surprised. 
Um, we have so many soccer games every week. Uh, I took this out of our spending category as well. Just so I could kind of make everything work. This was $3.77. Uh, we had a no spend on the 20th. On the 21st, I went to Dollar General and grabbed a few things we needed. And I took this out of our spending category as well. And that amount was $11.60. Um, and actually what this was, was um, I took Austin and his girlfriend to Dollar General to grab snacks. This was the day of homecoming, the homecoming dance. So we picked up his girlfriend um, and we got pictures of the two of them. They looked so amazing. I'll pop up a picture here if you're interested in seeing it. You don't follow me on Instagram. Um, they were adorable. And um, we wrapped up pictures sooner than we expected. We had a little bit of time before the dance uh, started and they wanted snacks. So I took them to Dollar General and they got some snacks. Um, and then I sent them off to the dance and my husband and I and my oldest son had dinner um, at a little bar and grill. We actually uh, just ordered takeout from there and hung out at home. Um, so that came out of our eating out budget. And that was $64.22. And then last but not least for this spending, I do have some uh, transactions to add to my sinking funds, but for our paycheck budget here, the last um, transaction was some more groceries from Walmart. So the amount that we spent this time around was $171.50. So let me go ahead and pull in my calculator. We'll calculate everything, get everything added up. Um, I need to do some highlighting as well. So let me pull my highlighters in here. That's not a highlighter. That's an expo marker. Get that out of here. Okay, so for bills, we'll use blue. For savings, green. For spending, purple. Eating out will be yellow. Groceries will be pink. I think that's all of them. So we transferred our bills. We took out our cash for savings. And I'm just putting these lines down here at the bottom so that I can put the totals in there. Um, spending, I said, was purple, right? So we had this transaction. Quite a bit from our spending category this week. Okay. Then we had eating out. Oops, that was grocery. You guys, why did you let me do that? That's gonna probably confuse me. So we'll go back over this with pink. It's gonna turn probably purple or orange. Yep, orange, there we go. At least it's different. So we'll just, uh, should we just do the same? We'll turn it orange this week since I screwed it up? Let's do it. So we'll just have grocery be orange this week. All right, let's go ahead and add it up. So we know for bills it was $7.50. So much easier doing it this way than going in and paying my bills each week and trying to figure out, um, you know, one week was a lot of money and then another week was just a small amount of money. This makes it all even. If you can get yourself a month ahead on bills, I highly recommend it. It's tough. I understand that not everybody can manage it, but if you ever can, Highly recommend. All right, so for cash, it was 200. For spending, let's add it up. So it was 856 plus 1503 plus 377 plus 1160 for a total of 3896. Okay, for eating out, we had 63.54 plus. 64, 22, 127, 
76 for eating out. Am I still in frame here? Can you guys see? Yep, sorry about the glare. And then for groceries, we had 157.36 plus 171.50 for a total of 328.86. Okay, let's go ahead and get everything added up. My grand total with the bills and the cash. is $1,445 with 58 cents. So it was a higher spending week this week. Um, just for my variable though, we had 3896 plus 127.76 plus 328, oops, 86, $495 with 58 cents. Okay. Hopefully all of that math is accurate. I am gonna use this information to close out my paycheck budget, but before I do that, let me flip to my transaction log for my sinking funds and log some spending because we really hit our sinking funds hard this week with spending. Lots from our medical sinking fund, lots from Austin's sinking fund, and we did some shopping from our shopping sinking fund. Um, so yeah. I didn't write down dates because I wasn't paying attention. But from Austin's sinking fund, which you can see we've used pretty heavily this month. So hopefully there's a lot of money going in there. Um, we did $53 and I don't even remember what this was for. No idea, you guys, I couldn't tell you. Don't remember. From our medical sinking fund, we paid a medical bill. Uh, we actually made the first payment in like a three month cycle. So it was a $300 medical bill. We broke it up into three payments of $100. So I paid $100 towards that medical bill. And then from Austin's sinking fund, I do remember the $53 was for his corsage and boutonniere for the dance. Okay. $23.58. Um, I cannot remember what this one was for either, but I do know that the transaction for $32.83 was he and his girlfriend had dinner after the homecoming dance. So that's what that was for. Not sure what this 2358 was for. Don't remember, but I wrote it down. So there you go. I took it out for something. Um, and then from our shopping category, we did Sam's Club. We got dog food. We got protein shakes, that sort of thing. Um, it's not something that happens like every week or even every month. It's just whenever we run out. So I have the shopping category for stuff like that. And it was $87.29 from Sam's. Whew. Okay, lots and lots of spending happening in our sinking funds. I'm thinking that I need to start adding more money to our short-term savings because we are spending it faster than we are saving it, which is not ideal. Okay, let's go ahead and flip back now to our paycheck budget. Use this information from our expense tracker to close everything out. How do you guys like having everything all in one video um, instead of breaking it out into multiple videos? You guys will have to let me know what you think about that. I did a little poll on my YouTube channel asking whether people liked um, longer videos, fewer videos in a week, but having them be longer or if they like um, more frequent uploads that are shorter and it was kind of 50 50 split so leave me some feedback down below let me know what you think about that all right here's my paycheck budget um, I started out with my budget budgeting sixteen hundred dollars that is what I took to make this paycheck budget happen so that was accurate um, for October bills I 
budgeted $7.50 and that is what I actually spent so that was perfect this is a pretty darn quick procedure at this point we've already done all the math and the work here now we just transfer the information from one to the other all right for groceries I budgeted 300 the amount that we actually spent was 328.86 so a little bit over budget there but we did come in under budget in the other categories I budgeted 150 for eating out we spent 127.76 and we budgeted $50 for spending and the amount we actually spent was $38.96. We've already done the math, so we know that the total that we spent this week was $495.58. So we came in under budget, but just barely, you can see here. So if I take that $500 and I subtract the $495.58, that means um, we came in under budget by $4.42, which brings me up here to this section here. So the sinking fund section is for my short-term short savings. This is the money you guys see me playing my savings challenge games with. Um, I've already done that. That money's already been allocated. That was $200 as expected. This actual column here is where I take anything that I have extra in this variable category and I put it towards mini savings challenges. Now you guys saw, we had less than $5. So technically I should be putting, you know, $4 extra into those mini savings challenges. However, you heard me say, I need to be focusing on putting more money into short-term savings. So I'm actually gonna put $60 extra which means that down here at the bottom where this buffer is, I'm gonna have to take some extra money out of there. Um, but I'm jumping the gun here. Let's complete this first. So the amount that I budgeted for savings is $200. The amount I actually spent was 260. Okay, so I'm just deciding to take some extra money rather than leaving it in the bank as a buffer. I'm gonna put it towards um, my extra savings challenges just because I need more money in there. You guys, I, I have to have it happen. So, um, typically what I do with the money that is left over at the end of a paycheck budget is it just sits in a buffer in my account. And then at the end of the month, whatever I have left of that buffer, if I don't use it because I've gone over budget one week, um, I put that into long-term savings. Instead, I'm gonna prioritize my short-term savings, put a little bit more into my savings challenges here with the $60. That'll leave less to go into long-term savings at the end of the month, but that's okay. It's all savings, it's all good. So let's do the math and figure out what we have left for our buffer. So we started with 1,600. I'm just putting the actual totals here in this little total section. For fixed expenses, it was 495.58. Yep. For very, oops, you guys, good thing I wrote an erasable pen. I just bald face lied to you. For fixed expenses, it was $750. For variable expenses, it was $495.58. For sinking funds, it was $260. And nothing towards extra debt. We are still completely credit card debt free, not carrying balances on our credit cards, which feels amazing. So if we take that 1600, we subtract 750, we subtract 495.58, and we subtract 260. That leaves us with 94.42 for our buffer. So that's still not bad. And we also have the money left from the buffer from last week, which was quite a bit. So that's why I don't really feel too guilty about it. I don't carry the buffer amount over week to week here in this budgeted amount. I just kind of let it build up each week. And then at the end of the month, I move it to long-term savings, whatever's left, okay? So that's a look at that. Overall, really good week. Um, I feel really good about this, putting this little bit of extra money towards short-term savings even though I didn't have quite as much leftover and variable expenses, I feel good about that. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull the $60 out 
and we're gonna do our mini savings challenges and that will wrap up this video. All right, my friends, here we have my little mini savings challenge binder. I also have my cash here, so we will count this in a second. But for now, I'm gonna pull out my mini challenges and I'm gonna get them set up. If you have never seen me play my mini savings challenges, um, I have six challenges here that are for smaller amounts. Like this one is $40, for example. Um, this one, I'm not sure exactly what the total it is, but it's, you know, just smaller challenges. They don't have super high amounts. And I take the money I have left over at the end of each week. I roll a dice to determine which challenge is gonna get some money. And with every roll, I add two bills to the savings challenge. Sorry about the glare, my friends. In fact, let me pull out these. Okay, maybe that makes the glare a tiny bit more bearable. All right, so I have my cash here. Should be $60. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. So as you can see here, I've got some spicy bills here. I've got a 10 and three fives. So I am just gonna shuffle them in here amongst the ones, okay, so that it's kind of random where these end up. For every roll of the dice, the number challenge that is on the dice will get two bills, okay? And at the end, once all of this money is used up, we'll add up what we're adding to each challenge. We will go ahead and fill in my trackers. Maybe we can finish a challenge or two today. We shall see. Here we go. Everything is all mixed in there. I've got my dice tower here. Oh no, I'm knocking everything over in the process. Got my dice tower here. I've got a dice. Just wanna set it up so I know you can see. And let's get rolling. All right, six. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, by the way. Okay. Hope you guys are all doing really well. I just came off what is probably the busiest week of the year. I was super busy at work, super busy with soccer and the homecoming dance and everything else going on. So I am, it was a great week, but I'm glad to see it over and I'm hoping things will calm down a little bit now. Um, we still have quite a bit more of the soccer season to go and Austin is working on the weekends through the end of October. So really like November, it'll start to calm down more, um, but at least the super, super busy week is behind me. I'm hoping we're gonna roll number five today, but if not, that's fine. We're not gonna cheat this time. We're just gonna let the dice decide who gets what. Ah, there's that five, so at least everybody got something. Um, let me know how you guys are faring. Are you getting fall weather where you are? We have seen some fall weather. All right, I must have had an odd number of bills because I just have one dollar left, so let's see who's gonna get it. Number six, okay. That's all the money. It went a little bit quicker since I had so many large bills this time around, which is a-okay with me because this video is already getting long. So let's go ahead now and sort everything out and figure out how much each of these challenges got. And we'll see if we can finish some. So starting with number one, this is simply the zest a $40 savings challenge from Beauty Mom Budgets. And this challenge today got $4, so I need to pull my highlighters back in. I put them all away trying to be organized. Forgot that I needed them for this. And specifically my yellow one. Of course, that would be the last one I grab. So let's stick those up here and we're gonna color in two little lemons because each are worth two dollars. 
okay? So this challenge now has a total of $14. It's gonna save 40 total, so we still have a long way to go with this one, but I'm glad that it got a little bit of cash today. Everybody got a little bit of love. If you are wondering what I do with the money from these savings challenges, it all goes to my sinking funds, but unlike my savings challenges that you guys have been seeing me play um, when I set up my weekly budget, these ones don't have a specific fund that they go to. They just go to whichever of my funds is looking a little low and needs a little extra love. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that one put away. And we'll pull in challenge number two, which is from my friend Marlene over at Snow Gardener 307. And you guys, we're gonna finish this one because it got way more money than it needed. We needed four more dollars. One, two, three, four. So that's gonna finish out this challenge. We have five, six, seven, eight dollars left to go towards a new challenge. So I'm just gonna set that off to the side. And we're gonna go ahead and color in these last two presents here on this little mini. This came as a little extra as part of my channel membership. Um, Marlene has a zillion and one really great savings challenges, so definitely check out her Etsy shop if you haven't already. So this should have 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31 dollars. And I just did this as a little roll and save. That's why it's an odd number. So let's see if we actually have $31 or if I managed to mess it up. So we have 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. I do indeed have what I need. I'm going to go ahead and write on this that it was $31. And we have finished a savings challenge. And you know what that means? Or maybe you don't if you're new here. But I do a savings challenge from Donna, powered by creativity. It's the ding, ding, ding challenge. Every time I finish a savings challenge, I add a dollar to this challenge. So we're gonna ring the bell. And I'm gonna go ahead and take one of these extra dollars over here and stick it here. All right, since I finished the savings challenge, I'm gonna go ahead and clip it and I'm gonna set it aside with all of the other savings challenges that I have finished so far this month. At the end of the month, these will all get allocated to my sinking funds. So I'll just set that to the side until then. And since I finished that challenge, I'm going to need to bring in a new one. And this time I'm actually gonna bring in one that I created. I created this little set of three mini savings challenges um, with a little witch theme. So um, there's this one with the cauldron where you can either roll and save or just enter your own amounts. There is this one with the witch with the twos. And there is this one with the little witch's hat with ones. And I'm actually offering this as a free download for you guys. So I'm gonna put a link down below to my Google Drive where you can download these, print them yourself, and use them if you are interested. Just as a little thank you for being here, for watching my channel. And I'm gonna use this one, I think, to start my new challenge. Where did this dollar come from? Did I put the dollar in the ding, ding, ding envelope? I thought that I did. I'm not sure where this dollar came from, you guys. So I guess I'm just gonna, we had $8 left over from that challenge, right? Five, six, seven. So it's not there. It might've come from one of my other challenges over here. So that's just what we're gonna go with. It's fine. It doesn't matter if everything is exact. Okay, so I've got my little challenge here. I've got seven dollars to add to it i'm actually just going to add six and i'm going to keep this dollar over here and i'll kind of tuck it in somewhere where it needs a little bit of extra love okay they're my challenges i can do it any way i want so let's go ahead and cross off three of these twos two four six and now we have a good head start on challenge number two for next week okay 
Next up then, I have challenge number three here. And this challenge is from Stuff and Budget here on YouTube. Um, it's a cute little unicorn challenge. It's a $40 savings challenge. So far we just have $6 in there, but we're gonna add quite a bit more today. So we have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 more going in. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. Made a big old dent. And this one. Have you guys watched Candy from Stuff and Budget before? If you like my videos, you will really like hers, especially if you like this um, portion of my videos with the savings challenges. She does lots of fun savings challenge videos over on her channel. So definitely go check her out and check out her Etsy shop as well. That's where I got this super cute unicorn challenge. All right, so let's see what we have in here total now. It got the 10, so this was the lucky winner today. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So we are more than halfway to the end of this challenge. All right. Next up, we have challenge number four, which is this roll the dice savings challenge from One Frugal Introvert. I've been working on this one for a really long time. It does have a little bit of a higher amount. The goal for this one is 105. So it's definitely taking us a little bit longer to do this one, which is fine. It's getting five, six, seven, eight dollars today. So we'll color in a five and a three. And let's count this up and see where we are now. I did do some condensing in some of these, so there's some larger bills in here, which is good because it makes it a little bit easier to count. 20, 40, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. All right, so we just have like 45 more to go and this one will be complete. I'm really excited to see this one get completed because like I said, I've been working on this one for the longest amount of time. Obviously, a $100 savings challenge takes longer to complete than like a little $20 or $30 challenge. Speaking of a little $20 or $30 challenge, this particular challenge from Kimmy's Budgets, aka Bayesian Girl Budgets here on YouTube, is worth $30. And we're going to add five, six, seven, eight dollars $8 today. So two, four, six eight all right so this one just needs six more dollars maybe we'll be able to complete this one next week but since it only needs six that means we should have a total of 24 if i have done everything accurately so let's find out 10 15 20 21 22 23 24 yes i love it when i don't make a mistake perfect so that's five and last but not least, we have challenge number six here, which I started last week. It's Let's Get This Bread from Hey K Budgets. When I finish this challenge, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, it'll have $24. Let me go ahead and write that in so I don't forget. Today we are adding, oh, it got one of the fives, great. I didn't even notice where the other fives went. I wasn't paying close enough attention. <laughs> five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. I'm gonna go ahead and add this extra dollar over here and make it an even 12. I knew that was gonna come in handy. That's why I saved it. So we'll do two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. All right, so that means we just need 10 more dollars to finish this one. That one is pretty darn quick. And let's go ahead and make sure I do indeed have 14 here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Indeed I do. All right, you guys, so that is it for my minis. I've got everything kind of all set back up for next week, which is great. We finished one challenge today, made quite a bit of progress on the others, started a new one here. And if you want you to get your hands on this little set of mini savings challenges, check out the link for my Google Drive below 
can download it, print it on eight and a half by 11 paper, just a regular size, and then just cut it out and use it. And I think it's super cute. I'm very excited about it. All right, you guys, that's it for this video. We have taken care of everything. So week four is wrapped up. The next video you see from me will be week five, the last paycheck in September. So be on the lookout for that coming soon. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.